Hi, my name is Emma and I'm here with scientist Dr. Aaron LeBlanc and we've been talking all about Komodo dragons and their incredible iron teeth. And if you haven't seen our previous video about this, do make sure you go and check that out. But for now, we're going to talk a little bit more about these amazing animals. So Aaron, first of all, hi, welcome. It's great to have you here. Thanks for having me. Um, so very excitingly, you were one of the scientists that discovered that these guys have iron teeth. Mm -hmm. So tell us a little bit about that and how you made the discovery. Sure. Well, you don't go looking for iron-coated teeth in Komodo dragons. That's not how you start a research project. Instead, it, it happened by accident. So we weren't initially interested in Komodo dragons specifically, but rather in the teeth of meat-eating dinosaurs that were the same shapes uh, as Komodo dragon teeth. Uh, because Komodo dragons, they're, they're our only living relative with teeth of that shape. They're these serrated, blade-like teeth that curve a little bit backwards. That they use to cut and tear meat. Um, that's a really common shape in, in meat-eating dinosaurs. And so if we want to understand more about the, the material properties of these teeth, um, it's best to have a living model to look at. So while we were looking at fossilized teeth from dinosaurs, uh, we decided to look at Komodo dragon teeth more closely to understand how the, the serrated edges of their teeth worked uh, and look at the structure as well as the chemistry of their teeth. And it was while doing that, that completely by accident, uh, I realized looking under the microscope at, at some Komodo dragon teeth that the enamel, the, the hardest coating on the outside of the teeth, uh, was had a, a weird color to it, sort of this orangey color in all of the, the samples I was looking at. And at first, I thought that was staining maybe from feeding. I mean, these are carnivores. They're eating animals with a lot of blood. So maybe that's, that's staining from use. Um, and that prompted me to come here to the Natural History Museum to look at the skulls of their Komodo dragons to see if this was just a one-off thing I had seen in, in my small amount of samples. Um, and it was actually the, the material here that hinted uh, right away that this, no, this is something inherent to every tooth. There's actually an orange color to the cutting edges and tooth tips of every single one of their teeth. And you can see that on the, on the skulls and the jaws uh, in the specimens here. Wow, fantastic. And, and is it really obvious the iron coating or is it quite, is it hard to see on them? Yeah, so I mean, if you look at a, a Komodo dragon's teeth, mm -hmm. uh, they look pretty small. Um, and actually when the animal was alive, uh, the gums would cover most of that. You just see the tips of the teeth. Yeah. Um, and when you look at them, they look just sort of a white color, sort of toothy color. I mean, they look pretty normal uh, compared to other reptiles. It's when you stick them under the microscope and you look along the cutting edges that you see these faint little orange lines that run right through the middle of each tooth and right onto the tip, almost like someone took a, a really, really fine paintbrush with some orange paint and, and did that sort of fine line. And so under the microscope, what that is, is every single one of the little bumps, the little serrations on their teeth is orange. Um, and that's something you see on the teeth here. And you also see it um, in the developing teeth that are still preserved inside the jaw. So these would have been underneath the gums when the animal was alive. So in other words, that can't be from staining if they have that orange color on their teeth. And so it's something that's built into every single Komodo dragon tooth, which is quite fascinating. We wouldn't expect to see that um, just from looking at this like this. Yeah, and do they grow their teeth then? Like, do they? They do, they, they do. They're like little tooth factories. Mm. And I think this one shows it better. So you can see on the inside uh, of this lower jaw here, the gums have been peeled away and you can see all the developing teeth inside. And so at every single one of these tooth positions where you can see a tooth poking out, there are four more waiting to take its place at, at different stages of, of, of development. So um, as soon as a tooth pops out, a new one's ready to go and it's coated in iron. Yeah, wow. And I mean, I have to ask about a Komodo dragon and how they sort of end up killing their prey. Because I know for a while I always thought it was to do with bacteria in, mm. their, in their teeth. Does that come into it at all? Or? So um, that's a really common sort of misconception about Komodo dragons is that they have a lot of bacteria in their mouth that they use. They sort of bite onto a big animal like a, like a buffalo or a pig or a deer. Um, and it's the bacteria that inf uh, infect the animal and it dies from an infection. Um, it turns out that's probably not the case. These animals are actually venomous. Uh, and so on top of creating just big lacerating wounds from having these blade-shaped teeth, they also have venom that gets into the wound and, and prevents the, the blood from clotting and they bleed more and more. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah, yeah. And where does the, um, so the iron coating, what does that actually do for the teeth then? Does it make it sharper or? Yeah, so the, the, the funny thing about the iron is it's just, I mean, as you can see, the teeth are mainly, mainly, mainly white rather. Um, the orange is just on the cutting edge, which is the most important part. That's the serrated edge of the blade that they're using to cut through the skin and through the muscle 
of their prey. Mm -hmm. And so what it's doing is it's probably making those serrations a bit harder, mm -hmm. but most importantly, they're just wearing down a bit slower than the rest of the parts of the teeth. So they stay sharper for longer uh, until a new tooth is ready to come in and, and replace it. Yeah, which is very important when they're hunting down like huge prey yeah. that they take down often. So yeah, yeah. very important for the Komodo dragon. Um, do we know of any other animals that have iron on their teeth? We do, yeah. And that, the, the surprise for us wasn't that there was iron in the teeth of an animal. It was that it was in a reptile, and a reptile that's constantly replacing its teeth. We wouldn't think it would need something like this to maintain that, that one part for longer. because they're just going to make new teeth wholesale all the mm -hmm. time. Uh, instead, where we see iron more commonly is in mammals. Uh, so we see it especially in rodents, uh, so rats. Um, you can see it in mice. But my favorite example is actually in beavers. Uh, and you can see on the front teeth, their incisors, their front teeth are orange color, and that's mm -hmm. because they have iron on the outer coatings of their enamel as well. And they are, of course, using these as chisels to, to chisel through wood, through tree trunks, and uh, they need that chisel edge, and so the iron is keeping that chisel edge um, razor sharp for, for chopping through. So it is an adaptation we see in other animals, especially mammals, the surprise was seeing it in a reptile that's just going to replace its teeth all the time. So clearly, they also benefited from having this iron coating on their teeth, just on the cutting edges. Yeah, and it's really obvious as well in the beaver, isn't it, versus the Komodo dragons. You can really see oh, that yeah, iron coating. Yeah, it really it's sticks so, out. Yeah, absolutely. It's, it's so light. It's incredible. Um, and we mentioned with the Komodo that the teeth are serrated. Is serrated yeah. teeth quite common in animals, or is that...? Serrated teeth are pretty sure. rare, I would okay. say, amongst living animals. But it was a really common uh, shape of tooth in the fossil record, especially in meat-eating dinosaurs. And that's why paleontologists, the Komodo dragon is their, their best friend, um, because it has teeth that are very similar to those of many meat-eating dinosaurs. Um, and we have an example here of a, of a T. rex tooth. Everyone knows T-Rex, that iconic predator. It's got a banana-shaped tooth like this. Mm -hmm. But even T-Rex has these serrations, these, these knife edge uh, little bumps. Yeah, you can uh, see them really obviously uh, like yeah. along it when you look up close. Yeah. Yep. Yep. So it's wow. using those to help them cut through the, the, the meat of their prey as well. So it, it, is, it is a common adaptation in a lot of different animals. Yeah, and is there a chance that dinosaurs might have had iron coating, or do we not know? Uh, yeah, that's a great question. That's actually how it started, because we were doing a lot of elemental work on dinosaur teeth, and, and this one shows um, really clearly that something's happened to the teeth over time because the color has changed. But we don't know when we do sort of complex elemental techniques where we're looking at all the different you know, elements inside these teeth, it's hard to tease out sometimes which elements would have been there when the animal was alive and which elements are there because it's been buried under the ground for millions of years. Um, and so we're trying to figure out ways to back calculate and figure out what elements would have been there when the animal was alive because now we know that some reptiles can, in fact, mm -hmm. put iron on specific parts of their teeth. Yeah, well, hopefully that'll be a revelation to come in the future one day. I imagine that's your hope. <laughs> that's the hope. That's the hope. Yeah. Amazing. Oh, well, thank you so much for talking to us about Komodo Dragons. That was very informative and I will definitely look at them in a very different light from now on. <laughs> Great. But thank you so much for being here. Great. Thank you. Appreciate it. Well, I'll certainly be admiring Komodo Dragons at even more of a distance now I know about their iron teeth. Let us know in the comments below what your favourite fact from this video was. And if you like what you saw today, then don't forget to like and subscribe for more natural history content.